Hello, my name is Bong Kia and I'm a postdoc of UC Berkeley and also LBNL and I'm working for the GPU implementation into the HTS framework, which is for the train construction. The title is the uh, GPU demonstrator for HTS train construction. And let me uh, briefly introduce the heterogeneous computing for train construction. In high energy fish detectors, the information of particles such as momentum and vertex is obtained by the train construction algorithm. And however, the train construction of future colliders will face into a combinatorial issue because of the more number of particle interactions per bunch crossing, which is known as pile up. So for example, in the LHC, the pile up is about 34, but it will increase up to 200, which will introduce uh, 6,000 particles per event uh, in the case of the HRLHC. And the digital modules will also have a finer granularity, which will increase the uh, overall combinatorics. So we want to achieve a high throughput on train construction by parallelizing or close on the modern computing architectures, uh, which includes the multi-thread CPU and GPU and also FPGA. And among those three architectures, GPU is a promising option due to a highly parallelizable company uh, structure. And also there are a couple of user-friendly GPU APIs, uh, which include CUDA, Secret, and HIP. So uh, we are de de developing TrackCCC, which is the uh, GPU demonstrator for HTS framework. So HTS, which stands for the uh, common tracking software, is an open source uh, training construction toolkit, which is independent of uh, HEP de detector geometry. And TrackCCC is an uh, R&D line of HTS, which is being developed to uh, find an optimal solution for GPU implementation in HTS as an, a demonstrator. So there are uh, some development principles that we want to follow. And the first is the uh, estab establishing the event data model, which can be shared by both CPU and GPU. And for this purpose, uh, we adopted a Bankman library as a, a memory management tool, which supports the uh, uh, CUDA, SQL, and HIP all together. And by introducing this Bankman library, users can choose architectures uh, by just feeding a relevant memory resource. So for example, in the case of a CPU, we just uh, uh, declare the uh, memory resource for the uh, CPU and just feed them into the uh, EDM object. And also for the uh, CUDA, we just declare the uh, uh, CUDA specific memory resource and just feed them into the uh, cell EDM. And the semantics are perfectly the uh, same for different architectures. And we were on to uh, devise the algorithm to exploit the full potential of GPU architecture uh, by avoiding the uh, dynamic allocation and branching conditions inside the kernels as much as possible. And then also by uh, distributing the test against the GPU cores for a uh, fully parallelizable algorithm. So this slide is, uh, shows uh, my experience with uh, heat clusterization with uh, CUDA. And the heat clusterization is the uh, first stage of uh, train con construction, which groups or energy deposits in the de detector module into one cluster. And uh, finding the, uh, the clusters, uh, which is created by the uh, one particle, uh, can be done by using the uh, quantitative component labeling algorithm, which is called the CCL. And uh, once we find those clusters on the uh, detector module, you can compute the local cluster position uh, uh, by using the uh, cell weight, uh, which is the energy deposit, and also local position of the each cell, and just averaging them to get the uh, average uh, location. And once you get the uh, local cluster position, we can uh, transform them into the uh, global cluster position by uh, applying the transformation matrix to the local cluster position. And this figure shows uh, how those three different uh, uh, functions uh, take time inside the uh, CPU and CUDA. And in the case of CCL, the computing time for CUDA is much faster than CPU, but for the uh, local position and global position calculation, uh, CUDA takes longer time than CPU because of the uh, number of CUDA memory allocations. 
And this is the uh, outlook for the feature. So the GPU demonstrator was created for heat cross-relation and we'll investigate the higher level alternative construction stages, uh, which include the seed finding and track feeding. And we can expect the dramatic speed up as those higher level stages are more computationally intensive. And ideal event data model is being discussed in a way to preserve the uh, generality across the different tracking stages. And our lessons we learned from GPU demonstrator will be put into HTS main voice tree. And finally, we aim to demonstrate a fully heterogeneous training construction in HTS for different types of APIs for CUDA SQL and or HRP. And we will uh, choose the, um, the most effective API based on the, their performances. Uh, that's the end of my slide and thanks for listening.